Ahoy there, lads and lasses, sailors and landlubbers. Welcome to another video about Sea of Thieves. I be your captain, Doodleman149, and welcome to another video in me company classes series. In this series, I be taking ye into all the ins and outs of each trading company. I be looking at what kind of loot to expect, how to acquire said loot, and how much coin ye be bringing back to port. For each of these classes, I be directing your attention to a teacher specialized in each company. Would ye kindly welcome back the Merry Merchant? Well, thank ye, Captain Doodle. I be glad to be back. Hello again, fellow merchants. Tis I, the Merry Merchant, and I be returning to ye all today to tell ye about the wild beasties that wander across all these islands. Normally, we be slicing these creatures up for food, but in my time as a merchant, I found some people be willing to pay handsomely for live specimens. I assume they just still eat them, but that ain't what we paid to know. So for today's lesson, I be telling you all about how to go about capturing these beasties of fortune and what each kind be fetching once returned to the Merchant Alliance. Now before we even go about trying to catch these critters, you need to make sure the Bonnie Merchant Alliance woman has a request in for them. Luck be on our side again today as we're right here we can buy an animal voyage. Simply activate as you all know how to do and bam, another teleporting paper into me hand. This tells us how many critters we need to capture. Now simply return to the merchant lass and ask politely for all the cages we be needing. She'll be providing you with the exact amount you need for capturing the requested animals. No more and no less. Note there be chicken cages, pig cages and snake cages. One for each type of critter. Now let's start out with these wee clucking bastards. Chickens seem to be the second most common animal found on our seas, appearing in a total of 25 different islands. These feathers noisemakers be the lowest maintenance creatures to hunt. They don't need no food and they're no threat to your crew. Chickens come in a variety of vibrant colors. Each color be worth a different amount. Plain white chickens fetch 100 gold. Red plumes earn ye 300 gold. Stark black chickens be worth 700 gold on par with the cargo crates I mentioned in my last lesson. And the rare golden chickens be worth 1500 gold apiece. Remember me mentioning the 25 islands these chickens live on? Well, here they be, split into three sectors. In the ancient isles, chickens can be found on Barnacle Cay, Chicken Isle, Crook's Hollow, Discovery Ridge, Mutineer's Rock, Old Salt's Atoll, Plunder Valley, Sharkbait Cove, and Thieves Haven. Looking at the shores of plenty, chickies can be found on Cannon Cove, Mermaid Hideaway, Arapier Cay, Sailor's Bounty, Salty Sands, Sea Dog's Rest, Smuggler's Bay, Twins Grove, and Wanderer's Refuge. And lastly, looking at the wilds, you can hunt chickens at Blackwater Enclave, Marauder's Arch, Old Faithful Isle, Scurvy Isle, Shipwreck Bay, The Crooked Masts, and Tri-Rock Isle. The wee porkers that flee about the islands when ye approach be just as valuable as the chickens, except they be more plentiful and a wee bit more troublesome to move. Pigs need to be fed fruit every so often or else they die. Ye can notice a hungering pig by seeing it sit in its cage. Simply offer it some fruit and it be good as new. Appearing on 26 islands, the pink piggies be worth 100 gold, pink and black porkers fetch 300 gold, black hogs gain ye 700 gold, and the glorious golden ham be worth 1500 gold. Starting again with the ancient isles, pigs can be found on Fool's Lagoon, Plunder Valley, Snake Island, Paradise Spring, Sharkbait Cove, Lookout Point, Thieves Haven, Mutineer's Rock, and Devil's Ridge. You'll hear piggies snort in the shores of plenty by visiting Sailor's Bounty, Boulder Cay, Lone Cove, Crescent Isle, Cannon Cove, Rum Runner Isle, Sea Dog Arrest, and Mermaid's Hideaway. And going to the wilds, we can capture Living Pork on Old Faithful Isle, Blind Man's Lagoon, Plunderer's Plight, Sunken Grove, Shipwreck Bay, Shiver Retreat, Shark Tooth Key, and Kraken's Fall. Now on to the most troublesome cargo ye be hauling, snakes. These serpents must have ended up in these seas when St. Patrick drove them from our holy shores. These venomous beasties be actively spitting poison at you, causing damage over time while also hurting your eyes. When you want to capture and transport snakes safely, simply play them a tune and they calm them right down. Seems them snake charmers be onto something. Snakes appear to be on 22 islands only, and they can be a bit harder to find. The red snakes fetch 100 gold, blue yields 300, black nets 700, and the legendary golden serpents be worth a hefty 1500 gold. Looking at the ancient isles, snakes can be found on Discovery Ridge, Castaway Isle, Crook's Hollow, Cutlass Bay, Booty Isle, Devil's Ridge, and of course, Snake Island. 
Up in the shores are plenty. You can find them on Smuggler's Bay, Sandy Shallows, Picaroon Palms, Lone Cove, Lonely Isle, Crescent Isle, Laguna Whispers, and Wanderer's Refuge. In the treacherous wild, Slytherin beasties be living on Marauder's Arch, Black Sands Atoll, Sunken Grove, Isle of Lost Birds, Crooked Mass, Liar's Backbone, and Kraken's Fall. I thank you all for sitting through me lesson on animal voyages. If you get lucky and get orders for all golden animals, this could be one of the fastest ways to earn coin through the Merchant Alliance. Until next time, merchants. Thank you, Merry Merchant, for your insights into hauling this live cargo. We look forward to more lessons from you in the future. As the merchant said, getting orders for golden animals can be very lucrative and time efficient when working for the Merchant Alliance. Each golden animal is worth more than even Devil's Roar cargo, so keep that in mind if you be looking to rank up the Merchant Alliance quickly. Now be sure to keep an eye out for any future classes regarding any of the trading companies. I'd like to thank you all for your time, and I really hope you learned something valuable today. I've been your captain, Doodleman149, and I wish you all calm seas and favorable winds.